given by various routes of delivery, and it was given to mice. I'm going to be walking through a, a PowerPoint. And at that time, did I also provide you a copy of a report dated March 8, 2011? The liver has such powerful mechanisms for metabolizing propofol that only a very small percent can get past the liver. This is a, this is a principle that is taught to first-year medical students. The only point for this discussion of propofol is that all of the veins, functionally, it is about 99%. 99% of the drug is removed. is removed before it enters the body. Okay. Correct. So there'd be no reason to expect uh, that oral propofol would have any uh, biological activity in the body. Correct. So quite obviously, this is the digestive tract here. In your April 2011 report, you opined that there was zero possibility absolutely that, that Michael Jackson had died as a result of oral ingestion of propofol absolutely the findings of Pacific toxicology do they support uh, that Michael Jackson ingested orally tablets of lorazepam during that time period of 8 a.m. to noon no they disprove it would you characterize the amount in Michael Jackson's stomach, uh, the 634 nan nanograms per milliliter or 0 0.047 milligrams, would you characterize that amount as trivial? Yes, it's trivial. Depicts self injections, six injections each, uh, six injections, 50 milligrams each. The possibility of a direct self injection um, seems extremely unlikely, and also propofol stings. You would not want to inject this into, you would not want to try to inject it into a vein and miss because that would actually be extremely painful. And he may even be at risk of not breathing. And that would be the point at which he would then be in danger. People just don't wake up from anesthesia like that. People just don't wake up, you know, hell bent to, to grab the next dose in a syringe, draw it up and shove it in their IV again. I mean, that just, it, it's a crazy scenario. Michael Jackson had been given. Uh, 50 milligrams of propofol, half a syringe, 